Welcome into another Dave Campbell's Texas Football Talking Point. I'm Greg Tepper, he's EJ Holland, and hullabaloo connect connect. We're talking Texas A&M. The Aggies are replacing the biggest superstar they've had since ever in Johnny Manziel. He's off to Cleveland to be the starting quarterback for the Cleveland Browns. And so now it's kind of with transfers and everything, it seems like it's a two horse race for the starting quarterback job. It's either going to be redshirt sophomore Kenny Hill, or it's going to be true freshman and superstar prospect Kyle Allen. You're Kevin Sumlin. Who are you letting take the snap? <laughs> well, you, like you said, are replacing the most polarizing electric football player, one of, to ever grace the gridiron. Mm -hmm. That's tough to fill. Sure. But if I'm Kevin Sumlin, I go with Kenny Hill. Okay. I really believe Kenny Hill can step up and not duplicate what Johnny Manziel did. No one's going to do that. But I think he can help Texas A&M. Uh, continue to win, continue to get that program up. Uh, Kenny Hill, the thing about him that you can't teach is he's a proven winner. One state title with South Lake Carroll, I will never forget him see, seeing him run uh, past a Silver Fox at SMU Sports Stadium nice. to beat Tau Skyline. Um, I, I think he's a guy that has all the intangibles despite his uh, one off the field hiccup there this offseason. I think on the field, Kenny Hill is ready to take over, and he's ready to lead this team. Let me play devil's advocate here because I think we agree. I do, I'd do. i go with Kenny Hill as well. But Kyle Allen is a guy that scouts have been crazy about, a guy that they say is a can't-miss prospect coming out of Arizona. Uh, why wouldn't you go with the guy who's who's the you know the big the, the big name prospect, the guy that then you would have control of for at least two more years? Yeah, I mean, Kyle Allen is a tremendous talent. Like you said, he is a five-star guy, guy with a big arm, guy that you just keep raving about. You see nothing wrong with him. But Kenny Hill's not a scrub. Kenny Hill is a great, he, he can do so many different things. He's a, a dual threat quarterback, a guy that can make plays with his legs. Uh, he has a pretty good arm as well. And like I said, he's just a winner. You can't teach that. I think he has that swag, that determination. And I think he knows it's his time to step up. Kyle Allen's a great talent. I wouldn't be surprised if Kyle Allen wins the job. But right now, I'm going with Kenny Hill. I, I like Kenny Hill a lot. I think Kenny Hill, what he did at South Lake Carroll was tremendous. And he's a guy that I think is going to be a star at the next level. And one thing, another reason that I think I'd go with Kenny Hill is because of what he can do with his feet. Uh, you know, what, Johnny, what made Johnny Manziel special at Texas A&M wasn't just the throws that he made, but the plays that he extended with his feet. And I think what you want to do is, is try to limit the amount of change that you go through. Uh, at the quarterback position. If you've got a more mobile quarterback with Kenny Hill, I think that's the guy you go with. But you can't really lose. They've got two great two options great there. Options. Uh, they're gonna, they're, they're probably going to have a pretty good quarterback taking the snaps, whoever it is. Well, that's going to just about do it for us. Log on to TexasFootball.com for all things state of football. For EJ Holland, I'm Greg Tepper. We'll see you.